All right, everyone, it is that time of year again. It's the, about middle of June, and it's time to really get the build season going. So, first pro major project this summer is going to be my mausoleum. So, I have, I just got back from Home Depot. Got five sheets of foam, and they have one out right now. Uh, gonna be four foot wide, eight foot tall. And then the, the side panel, this is one of the side walls. And then the back wall is going to be six foot across and eight foot tall. So, yeah. So I'm going to start by framing out the wall. Alright, got the first side wall done. It only took me about 20 25 minutes, so not bad. Um. I attached it was put just use screws can you even see that I think here let me put it down yeah just use screws and I'm not worried about you know seeing the screws because the grout right the grout lines and the paint will cover it so this one it's really hot out here that big cloud was blocking the sun it kind of moved now but so I'm gonna go inside take a little break but yeah I want to get at least one more wall done today so yeah one wall done and well it's been about an hour for me but probably a couple seconds for you guys another one is completed um, I'm not measuring where I'm putting these boards I'm gonna have windows in the center of this, so I'm just putting it there so the foam can hold on to something. So yeah, I'm not really measuring that much on this. So yeah, another one done. Gonna take another short break and then work on the back wall. All right, back at it. Uh, to start, I realized I'm short on wood, about four or five pieces. So I only have four more left, but. That's fine. I'm not working on the front wall today. This is the back wall right now I'm working on. So, I'm gonna, this one's gonna be a little harder because I have to cut one of these in half. So it'll be two feet. Because they're four feet wide, so, yeah. So, probably gonna use a box cutter or something. I think it's marked right here, a foot, so I only have to measure a foot from there so yeah. all right I just laid this out so I was gonna measure two feet from there which is about halfway right there Still focused um, but I think I like it better eight feet keeping it eight feet because if I take one of these in the yard Where I'm gonna have the mausoleum this year. That looks good. Make sure a little over more. If I have that, where I'm gonna have the mausoleum I'm on the sidewalk right now. And I think that looks good that wide. So, yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep it eight feet. So, I'm not, don't have, have, uh, I don't even have to cut anything else, which is good because I'm tired of cutting wood and foam. So yeah, but uh, keep it, back wall going to be 8 by 8 So yeah, let me start doing that. Alright, I just ran into a problem that I sort of already kind of fixed. But when I lift this up, it's real flimsy, the middle, because I haven't had, I don't have the two side pieces on yet and look at that that's not good it takes off like a sail so I found these two old pieces of pallets I'm gonna try and without stepping on the foam I don't know how I'm gonna do it but put it one at top one at the bottom kind of uh, support it a little more all right I think I got it figured out now uh, 
screws are still poking out the back, but oh well. I'll cut them down the Dremel. But now I have to cut those boards for the sides right here. And then I'll be done with the construction of all the three walls so far. Recording? Okay. So, one thing I didn't think about when I decided to do this eight feet long was moving it. Yeah, that's been a challenge, flipping this over. But I have the one by threes right here, both of them cut to this side, but I have to flip this thing over again. And I haven't tried flipping it over with the pilots on there. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting right now to see how hard this thing's going to be to move. But... I'll figure it out. Oh, hi bird. Hi bird. Alright. Alright, got it flipped over. You got the four one by threes on it and then the two pieces in the middle. I'm uh, moving this is going to be fun. I haven't thought about that. I'm thinking because some of the screws came out, I'm thinking of going to get two more one by threes and just putting them in the middle right there so it has something to hold on to. I don't know. So. That won't be today. Next, I think I'm going to work on the windows. But I got to get this moved off of the driveway. Alright, I'm in the process of moving this. Yeah, I wish I would have made it uh, 6 feet instead of 8. It's going to be fun trying to get it to stand up there in October. But I'm moving it to the backyard. I'm just dragging it in the two pieces of pallet. that I put to kind of connect the two in the middle together. Yeah, came off, so useless. Ow, pickers, I don't have shoes on. So, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> nah. And then, here are the other two I made already. So, yeah, I have to figure out a spot for that. Alright, now I'm gonna work in the windows. Uh, I'm going off of this shape. Not perfect. I'll figure it out when I start cutting it. But I'm gonna use one of those hot wire foam factory cutter tool things to cut it it's getting just plugged it in yeah it's not hot yet just plugged it in so give it a couple minutes to warm up then I'm gonna cut out the window all right about five minutes later I have one window cut out Alright, so I got both the windows done. This one's here and that one's there. Uh, yeah, cut a little too close to the wood right here. I'll have to do something about that. Even a little on there. Anyway, yeah, and I'm about to show you the next step, which I think is going to be really cool on these, on these windows. How do I stop recording? Alright. This is going to be the next step, making stained glass windows. So, this is one of those light box things that you put on the lights in like offices or something. So, how it's going to look after I paint it, it's like it's going to be stained glass. Can you guys see that? I don't know, I can't see a camera. So, and now, tell me. I'm not going to paint this tonight, or cut this tonight, but do you guys think this looks better, uh, like how the color it is now, or should I paint it? So I'll give you one last look. So if you guys can even see that, should I leave it like this or paint it? So, yeah, tell me, and that's where I'm going to leave you guys. So, yeah, Mausoleum first update complete.